It's so powerful to come together as human beings in what unites us as humans, rather than focusing on all the differences. And, and that's what we are doing here in, in the Balanced View Training, really coming together in what unites us as human beings. What is really where we can see we are all completely connected as open intelligence. Open intelligence, the power to know, that is always present at all times. And that's what we can introduce ourselves here by just stopping thinking for a moment. And we can all test it out right now, just to stop thinking for a moment and recognize what remains. We notice an alertness, a sense of knowing that hears, that listens, that perceives the, everything, the wind, hears the wind, feels the wind, everything that we can perceive. Open intelligence at the basis of that. And that's what we are recognizing more and more. When we stop thinking for a moment, we recognize that everything is pervaded by open intelligence, even though we cannot really stop thinking because then the next thought comes in, rushing in, or the next emotion, or we hear the bird. And, and then we recognize, wow, but that open intelligence never went anywhere. It's at the basis of all perceptions, of all data. And data is simply everything that we can perceive, thoughts, emotions, sensations. We simply call data. And data and open intelligence are inseparable from each other, inseparable. Like the sky is inseparable from the sky. Like the sky is inseparable from the sky. <laughs> That's also good. <laughs> like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. That's a good metaphor. It's my favorite metaphor. Because that was really powerful for me to see that, wow, it's not like I need to get into a state of no thought or a state of only positive data. And that is open intelligence and get rid of the negative ones. More and more I could see that they're inseparable, that there's nothing needed, no change in the way of what comes up for me in, in my experience. That made it really um, easy because I was really so much working on myself to have <coughs> certain kind of data set in place to feel, to feel well, to feel empowered. Um, and, and what I saw is more and more, oh wow, I don't need to get rid of anything to feel completely at ease, completely empowered and recognize open intelligence. So to come back to this simple practice to take a short moment whenever we remember to do so we can stop stop describing whenever we remember to do so we just stop for a moment allowing all data to be as it is letting body and mind rest completely and we can try that out in our daily life wherever we go whatever we do we just test it out again and again that simple practice and more and more that becomes so natural to us the short moments grow just longer, the short moments of grief and uh, ease and peace within ourselves just naturally grows longer and longer. And um, recognizing that open intelligence is always present within all data streams. So that's really powerful because then all data streams lose their charge. No data has a charge, no matter if it's a judgment or whatever thought it is, it doesn't have any charge to affect our well-being, to affect, affect the way we relate to anyone. Then it really, then it doesn't matter. Even when we are, um, when judgments come up, we are not taking it as something that we need to act on or something that maybe is wrong with that person because that thought of judgment comes up there. We allow it to be as it is. There's no charge in any of the data stream. No thought, emotion, sensation has any charge to influence how we want to relate. We can always come back to that choice, how we want to relate to our data streams. How do we want to relate to judgment? How do we want to relate to the thought that we have about another person or um, the emotion that comes up? It's so powerful that we can really choose in each moment either to go down with these data streams, really emphasize them, taking them as something real, or allowing them to be as they are and recognize nothing needs to be done with these data. And then we na come into our natural, um, 
naturalness in seeing everything as equal and even. It's so powerful. That I, that's what I always wished when I came, before I came to this training. I wanted equality for human beings, for all genders, for all races, for all religions. That was my heart wish, but I didn't know how, how this could be possible. How can, how, can we all, like, how can we all come together? And then when I came to this training, I, I saw a possibility when we all really focus on what, is, what unites us. And then in that, a natural equality, equalness and evenness in all data streams, where it's not important anymore where someone comes from, what gender he or she has, which race. Coming really to that, the naturalness in that, not contrived. I used to always try to contrive it, having concepts about it, and really, and in that uh, drive to equality, I was discriminating people. I could see that so clearly when I came to this training. There was no openness completely. And now I can just see how, how that changed. Complete openness and the naturalness in, in seeing really, yeah, complete openness to to humanity, no matter where people are coming from, and to connect in that way, no matter what data comes up. Because I don't need to change my data in order to be open-hearted and have a, a connection in, in that way, no matter what the data says. It doesn't matter. That's what I came to see more and more within my experience. And that's so powerful, so powerful to see that we can all, it really starts with each one of us. When I saw how my data used to play out or how I used to play out my data of maybe jealousy, hatred or feeling insecure or this and that, I can, could see it also playing out in, in, in other people and we can see it playing out everywhere. And then I could see, yeah, okay, it really starts with each one of us. We all need to, we all make that change within ourselves first. And then we can bring powerful change to humanity. It's really about everyone making that change within how they relate to data streams. And, and there we can see, yeah, it, it's powerful to have that force and to have that wish to change everybody. And then using it for the benefit of all, rather than blaming, criticizing everything that is going on. We use that power to see, okay, what can we actually do? What are the solutions? How can we move forward there? And then we can really bring all that energy into that. I mean, Adam just so beautifully shared about all the um, questions and um, I just can share also my own experience with with anti-doting, it's, it's really about, I could see like more and more that I didn't need anything to feel completely relaxed and at ease. I used to use alcohol, smoking in order to feel comfortable, maybe feeling nervous in social situation and then uh, drink a beer and then that all are uh, relaxed. And now I see that completely fell away, but not with me trying to stop drinking but just maintaining open intelligence at all times and allowing myself to recognize that open intelligence shining forth within every data stream and feeling nervous or feeling like, yeah, everything that would come up and then I see, wow, I don't need anything to be at ease. Right there with each short moment. And that is so completely freeing. That allows of complete um, freedom because then of course we can choose if we want to have a drink or not, but we are not at the whim of, of, of something. We need something in order to feel comfortable for ourselves. And that applies to any antidote. So we can experiment with that. Okay, how, how is it when I don't, don't drink in this situation where I used to maybe always want to drink? And then just really experimenting and seeing, wow, nothing is needed right there. Open intelligence, we can rely on a short moment. And that just opens up completely complete freedom to choose what will be of most benefit. Then we see clearly, because we are not swirled around by the data stream that comes up, where we thought we need to maybe act on it or try to get rid of. Nothing needs to be gotten rid of. We more and more feel comfortable within the data that comes up for us, more and more comfortable within anything that comes up, any questions in our lives or any 
thought, emotion, more and more comfortability within that by the simple tool of taking short moments repeated many times whenever we naturally remember to do so. We allow body and mind to be as it is. Resting deeply within that. And it, yeah, it's such a powerful practice and, and because we also can apply it in everyday life, everywhere, no matter what we're involved in, no matter what practices we're involved in, or if we like to dance, if we like to sit, if we like to, yeah, whatever we enjoy doing, maintain open intelligence, that's most important. And then we can enjoy everything so much more. I suddenly could enjoy things so much more, running on the beach, because I didn't, uh, that's what I love doing, and it, it, I used to always force myself so much, now it's just complete enjoyment, because I do it from a completely different motivation, motivation than I used to. It's just amazing to see how, yeah, everything just becomes so much more enjoyable within that. Because the, the reason why I do things has changed. Where well, I would used to act on data streams, trying to rearrange or trying to have them in place to feel better. That complete shift in seeing of what will be of most benefit in each time, place and circumstance. It's, it's powerful to open up that clarity within ourselves. No data can, can fog or close down our clarity in seeing what will be of most benefit in every moment. 